Welcome everybody to ShootSmarter.com. I am Woody Walters with Woody Walters Digital Photo Candy.com. And we're continuing on with, with, with these creative brushes that we started with last month. And we're going to start it again today, right where we left off. And this is right where we left off. We got this guy running with the football. He's materializing from smoke. And it looks like the smoke is just vaporizing or, you know, conforming to his body type of thing. So now what I want to do is I want to come over here and I want to grab the main portrait of him. And you can see here that I've already got in my paths, like I've got a selection made. And so I've already made that selection. So I'm just going to say Control C to copy it. So we're going to copy it and then we're going to come back to here and we're going to paste this down, Control V. And so here he is. Now look, something I want to say here. What I would do is I'd put him up here like this and have the image running like that. But the problem is even if I enlarge this a little bit, which I'm going to do is, you know, they're damn near the exact same size as the elements. And so I'm going to have to play off of that. Now, unfortunately, I told you that this was going to be two issues and it might have to be three. So right now I'm just going to grab this layer. We're going to hold the shift key down, which is and then click on to right here and it will grab all the layers in between them. And now I'm going to bring this down. But more importantly, I'm going to size it. I'm just going to bring him down so we can get the sizes. Now, that's pretty good. That's I, I like the side. That's going to be a good read. A good read so let's come back up here now let's make a layers mask for it so we can click on that we're gonna make sure that blacks on top we're gonna to grab our brush and I'm just gonna grab a circular brush again and we're just gonna hit him and knock him out completely and so let's make that just a little bit smaller and so I'm just gonna hit this here good and we're just gonna wipe him out completely here so there it is and so now I know that so now let's grab our brush again and let's come down here and grab one of the smoke brushes doesn't really matter which one. The main thing is for, for this one, I'm going to start out with quite a bit of what I'm going to call density value to it. So we're just going to come over here. We're going to grab that. We're going to spin that up. Good, good, good. And I want to be able to get his eyes in. So I'm going to come over here. We're going to try to find his eyes. Now look, right there, it's pretty cool because let me enlarge this. We can see that we're getting it. And so right now, I'm going to make that real small. And you want to, with, with the people's faces, you want to be able to read their lips, their nose, and their eyes. So I don't really bust it out, you know, and maybe their chin line. I don't really bust it out much more th than that. That I want almost 100% through so they can see it. Now this I don't mind doing. You know, that's kind of cool here. You know, maybe just a little bit more right over here. I'm going to redo that because we're getting a repetitive pattern going. So now we're just going to come over here. And I'm just going to come up into here and I'm going to hit that. Good, good, good. And we want a little bit more stringy. Let's go ahead and try this one. Good. Let's turn it a little bit. Coming out this way. Good. Good. And I'm just going to keep hitting that. And so now we're getting this pattern that's going on here. And that's exactly what I want to do. Exactly what I want to do. Except for right now I'm going to hit that there so we get that a little bit off. But that's all right. We'll hit this. We'll hit this. What is this one? That one could be cool. So we're just going to bring that in here a little bit. We're going to spin that and let it come down now. Spin it and let it come down. Good. Good. So we're just going to pick up some of those patterns. Very particular brush. There it is. Now we're going to grab this one. We're going to rotate that so it comes down. Good. Now look at that. Yeah. Look at that. See, now it looks like it's pouring. See that? See that? That's kind of cool. That's real cool. Now let's create a new layer to make sure it's underneath so that it's underneath. And now we're going to spin that going this way. Good. And we're going to make that a lot smaller. And I'm just going to play off of his headline and break that up a little bit. See that? We're underneath, so let's get that down here a little bit. Good. And now let's go to this, make it white brush and we're just gonna conform that in good good look at the intricacy that's going on here that's real good look at that that's way cool let's build these up a little bit more give me something a little bit more to cling on to now let's grab another brush Ooh, this one's not bad let's rotate that this way now we're gonna come back down to this right here we're gonna make a new layer we're going to make that black. We're just going to make the splatter out. Look at that. Now this one we can play with. 
depending on what you want to do. Wow, that's not bad. That's not bad, except I don't like that coming out right here. For that I could just simply mask out. So let's mask that out. Good, look at that. Let's go to here. That's not bad, people. That's not bad. Good, good, look at that. Let's come back to here. Let's create another layer. I just want to get a feeling for this. I don't know what that is, but it looks pretty cool. Oh, it's a water splash. That could be cool. Bring some of that into here. Good, bring that out. Let's go up to here. Let's bring some of that back in. Bring that back in. Let it bleed. That was too much. Let it bleed. Good, good, good. Now let's go back here. We're white. We're just going to make sure that we hit his face. Good, just a little bit more. Good, now look at that. That's starting to really come together. Good, now let's go ahead and grab this one. Again, we've already made a copy for it, so I'm going to do Control c to copy it. We're going to come back here. We're going to be just underneath this layer, and we're going to do Control v And we're almost done here. The only thing I want to do is I want to show you the background, which is going to be next month's issue. And it's probably the most important uh, lesson of this because it's the background that really pulls this together. So now we're just going to grab another brush, and we get something that has a little bit of density to it. Good. And we're going to lower that and make sure it blacks up on top. And we're just going to come in here and start masking him out. Boom. Good. Spin that. Now let's hit that. Boom. Good. I want all that helmet gone. So that's cool. All right. Let's spin this so we can grab the top of his head. We're going to clean that up. But right now, I just want to get some whirling going in here. Good. Let's flip that 100%. Come in here. Good. Now, let's grab a circle brush so I can be exactly know what I want. We're going to come here. We're going to reduce that. Make sure we get all of his face in the way I want it. Now, we're going to knock out this area here because I don't want that. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's grab another brush. Let's get something kind of intricate right there. Let's reduce that down. Let's come inside here just to get some patterns going. Let's spin that up. Get some patterns going. Good. Good. And that's looking pretty good. I want to do one more layer in between these two. We're going to flip this, spin it around. About right in there. I'm going to make it bigger. And now we're going to hit this area. That's it. That's it. Let's do T. We might even bring this down. Really kind of tie all that in. That's not bad. That's not bad. Look at that. Look at that. Only other thing I would do is I would start organizing. Let's make him yellow. So he's yellow. I know that one's yellow. And as we go down here, we'll make this one orange. Because that's the profile picture. This one, we're going to leave yellow. Definitely yellow. So all I'm doing is all the layers that are contacting the hem, I'm, I'm colorizing so I know what's what. So I know what's with what group. And I could also do that with layers. Now this one, we're going to make blue. So all of these, we're going to want blue. Blue. And now we want this one blue. So blue and blue. Now, people, please, 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 if you didn't see the previous month, watch that. That would be the December issue. This is the January issue. Make sure that you look at the February issue because that's what we're going to use to bring the background in to make all of this come together. And if you take a peek at these you'll see that this is the final image of it and you can see just how that blends into now it's not going to be stroke for stroke exactly this image because this is the one I did and I'm trying to explain it now but this is what we're going after and so again you need to watch month the third issue of this so you'll be able to be sure that you get all of this coming in here so from here this is Woody Walters saying come on over to visit the site Woody Walters digital photo .com. check out these brushes and the products that we offer you I really think it will help you with your photography and your creativity of your photography so until next month shoot from the heart shoot from with passion and we will see you here at shootsmarter.com